Let me ask you, Ms. Harbert, because it has been suggested to me that, well, the reason that I would support lifting the oil export ban is because I come from a producing state. And I think many forget that actually there is an exemption that currently allows Alaska to export uh, our oil. And uh, in fact, earlier in the, in the month of May, um, we moved about 975,000 barrels to, uh, to South Korea. Uh, so that's not necessarily my, my pitch in this. I think it's because, I know it's because it, this is an outdated policy that needs to be revamped. But can you, can you give me um, your assessment then as to why lifting the oil export ban actually helps those states that do not produce oil? What's the benefit to them? Sure. I mean, if we lift this oil export ban, it does allow all 48 states to be in the business. If you are a producing state, you, you, producing state, you benefit in one way, but 30 percent of these jobs, the 400,000 jobs that I mentioned, are in the supply chain. And that does not mean that they are located in Texas or Oklahoma. In fact, uh, the state that has the most to gain from this is the state of Illinois. Uh, because they will be resident to more of supply and service industry to servicing the export industry. So it truly means that every state has an equity in getting this done and benefiting from the jobs, the revenue, and the investments. You know, as long as we can export and we keep energy affordable here at home, it has a secondary effect as well as more people invest here because we have affordable energy, and the Gulf of Mexico is a huge beneficiary of that as well. 